Okay, welcome to today's video. So today we're going to be seeing a different type of example in the polynomials topic. And you probably wouldn't have seen anything similar to this in your three unit math. So this is a, a bit different. Okay, so the example is, if alpha, beta and gamma are the roots of the equation x cubed minus 2x plus 5 equals 0, form cubic equations with roots 2 over alpha, 2 over beta, 2 over gamma, and alpha squared, beta squared, gamma squared. Okay, so let's have a look at the first one. So this equation has roots alpha, beta, and gamma. Okay, so what does it mean for it to have roots alpha, beta, gamma? That means alpha, beta, and gamma all satisfy this equation. So therefore we can have alpha cubed minus 2 alpha plus 5 is equal to 0. Okay, now we only really need to substitute 1 in to see what's going on here. Now we want to find a cubic equation with roots 2 on alpha, 2 on beta, and 2 on gamma. So we want to substitute, we want to be able to substitute x equals 2 on alpha into an equation and have this equal to 0. Okay, so we want to substitute x equals 2a in for some polynomial that has, that's a polynomial of x. We want to substitute x equals 2 over alpha and have that equal to 0. Now, <clears throat> now if you notice, let's just call this number 1. If you, call, if you notice that here we have a polynomial in alpha, we can write x equals 2 alpha like this. We can write it as alpha equals 2 over x. So now we can substitute this into equation 1. And we'll get a polynomial in x that has roots of 2 over alpha and 2 over beta and 2 over gamma. But we only need to write it for, in alpha, like we only need to write it here, alpha equals 2 over x. So anyway, substituting this in. So, sub alpha equals 2 over x into 1. This is what we get. So we get 2 over x, all cubed, minus 2 times 2 over x, plus 5. And that is equal to 0, because if alpha satisfies this, and we have alpha equal to 2 over x, then we can certainly substitute alpha in to equation 1. So now we can simplify this a little. We'll get 8 over x cubed minus 4 over x plus 5 is equal to 0. Now, this isn't exactly a polynomial, because remember, a polynomial can only have positive integer coefficients for x. So if we multiply through by x cubed, we'll get 8 minus 4, x cubed over x will be x squared, plus 5x cubed is equal to 0. And so therefore, 5x cubed minus 4x squared plus 8 equals 0 has roots 2 over alpha, 2 over beta, and 2 over gamma. Okay, so that's the first example done. Now, let's have a look at the second one. So we want alpha squared, beta squared, and gamma squared. So, let's just write down the original equation. So we want x equal alpha squared to satisfy, to be so we want x equals alpha squared as one of the roots. 
Now we can write x equal, alpha equals the square root of x. And back from here in equation 1, where we had a polynomial in terms of alpha, we can substitute this value of alpha into 1. So substituting alpha equals square root of x into 1, we will get the square root of x, all cubed, minus 2 times the square root of x, plus 5 is equal to 0. Now, I'll just write this in exponent form. So we'll get x to the 3 halves, minus 2x to the half, plus 5 is equal to 0. Now, I can factor out an x to the half with these two terms, and get x to the half into, now we'll be left with an x here, minus and just a 2 will be left over here, plus 5 is equal to 0. Now, if I move the plus 5 to the other side, I'll get minus 5, and now I can square both sides to get rid of this radical here. So once I square this, this will become x to the power 1, which we just write x, times x minus 2 squared equals minus 5 squared, well that's just 25, and it's positive 25. Now we can expand this out. x into x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals 25. And then we get x cubed, x cubed minus 4x squared plus 4x, and we take the 25 over to this side, we get minus 25 is equal to 0. So therefore, this has roots alpha squared, beta squared, gamma squared. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video, and there will be more videos to come in the future. Thank you.